Okay, I guess it's like inside where you just start without a menu. Hmm. Well, that's what we're playing. And I have no idea what's happening. No, it's a little bit of a walking sim. But that's it. The trailer looked pretty wild, though. So, let's have a boo around here. It's a cannery. Are we in Allen Wake? Oh, okay. Got a broken arm. How did that happen? Oh, I gotta turn it. Can't quite get it. My arm is broken. No one has signed it. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning. With the house. Alright, we're starting with the house, apparently. Alright, looks pretty cute. Going very slow. Oh, hey! Hey! Those power wires are pretty low. You better be calling the city. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Oh no. Buffalo Bill? Made a couple more floors since Islands of the Lambs, hasn't you? See if I got any mail in here. Oh, where's my cast? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Oh, shit. Well, you better open them. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, no. It's gonna be a sad story, isn't it? Fuck, another one. It's fucking indie titles, I'm telling you. Well, it looks like I'm screwed. Well, better get out of here. Oh, no, Lewis. Did you fall down the canyon? They couldn't even find his body, I bet. Son of a bitch. Well. Well, looks like I'm screwed. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Oh. Everybody's fucking dead, or what the... Jesus. Whoa. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or... She thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Oh. oh, the Finches. A.K.A. the ship breaks. Swear to God, there's any honey bears down here. Oh shit, I got a pack of Reese's Pieces on me. They could probably smell it. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. That's your house? And she just leaves it there. about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So you leave it for seven years? What are you, what are you doing? The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. This is where Uncle Ted butchered all the kids. Sick bastard. This is where he stored his... Yellow beetle. Oh, it just wraps in the same thing. All right, all right. Gotta get some new mesh for that netting. Fuck's sake. This thing, uh... This thing wanna turn? The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. Jesus Christ, who the hell built this fucking thing? Zachary Comstock? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Yeah, I wouldn't be going up to that top room. Jesus Christ. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Christ, are you kidding? I wonder if everybody's dead. Oh, no. Do I gotta go through the doggy door? Oh, I do. Seriously. Oh, look at that bike. through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Oh, damn. Oh, who left the fuck? Gee, there goes the hamburger. Seven years. Nice pool. 
shitty vacuum. Oh. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh yeah. Seven years will do that. Oh, they got tennis balls on the thing. Oh, and a Walmart thing on the friggin' antenna. How old is this game? For the first time in years. Oh no. I felt like I was home. Look at the drinking that was done here. Oh, and the tuna. Cannabis. Oh, just cannery. Jesus, what the fuck? Look at the canneries! Jesus Christ! What'd you call that? What kind of fucking bowl is that? But instead of a family, Whoa. there were just memories of one. Look at the mom. Yeah, I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> mom, you want to look at the presents? No, I just... I really can't wait to leave. And the grandma's like, you serious? Really can't wait? And the son's like... This is carrot cake. Mom, get the fuck out. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> Imagine that. Like you do your whole order, takes like 15 minutes. Okay, and where do you live? Uh, we're up at the Finch Resident. Uh, well, fuck that. Uh, goodbye. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Hmm. You think? Look at this. What did you guys... The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Why? It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Jesus. Chinese and wine? Dog dishes? Nice window. Look at the fucking... There's a window out to the garage. Like, what a weirdo. Oh... The grandfather? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh. Looks like she didn't eat all of her soups on my guy. God, there's orbs in here. See that orb? Fuck, the family's still here. Oh, welcome to Gringotts! The house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. Sank? It's happening? Whoa! Like, what are these books on here? Oh, Necrocomicon. Labyrinths. Oh. Tons of Necrocomicons. Oh, isn't this, uh... Can't wait. Where to go? Is Jack in a box? Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. <laughs> well, here's a music box for you, but close your eyes. Here's a house. It's setting the tone. Oh, can I use this? Please tell me. Damn it. Look at these doors. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. It was like home alone, except everyone was moving instead of going to the airport. And you got there's bongs. Jesus Christ. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Um, see? God damn. Fucking indie title, stupid. Holy shit. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. What the fuck were you guys on here? I gotta have a boo in all these rooms here. They're coming for you, Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. What? Until America grew out of it. Can we go in? Can't go in. 
Gregory Scott. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Wait, so Gregory lived in the fucking bathroom? With shag carpet? Calvin. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. Oh. Oh. That's kind of dark. What a fucked up family you got. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Okay. Uh, should we call the show Hoarders? You know, get this place cleaned up a bit? Jeez, as mother of Joseph. Edie told Whoa. me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Oh, that's... Yeah. Doesn't add to the creepiness at all. Holy shit. We got a can of worms that we gotta open here. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. What the hell? Why is everybody dead? If she, if she's so smart, how come she's dead? I spent a lot of time Whoa. playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. What's up with the train? I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Yeah. I don't know why there's a Bruce train. Bruce told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. <gasps> oh. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out... My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Holy shit! That's something. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Oh god, do I really want to go in there? Again, this is Ted Bundy's house. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. A cat with a bird in its mouth? And blood on the fuck? Jeez. Ah, some imagination. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Do I wanna... Oh, let's go slow. <sighs> Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. So I've seen one bathroom in this entire house. Jesus, that seat must have been warm 24-7. Molly's room through the peephole. Let's peep through her drawers. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier ah. gerbil cage. <laughs> That's hilarious. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Oh, what's her journal? December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. What? It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. <laughs> the gerbil? <laughs> the first thing I'm looking at. The fish! Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, pumpkin. Jeez, there's tons of things to eat. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, son of a... Who stole it? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Shit! Shit! That was his! A little fucking weird. A little weird. Whoa. Is that the shitter? Okay, maybe there's two bathrooms. I kept eating and eating. Oh! Oh, well, I'll just jam that in, yeah. That's it's got a lot of calories. Oh, oh fuck! Is that dribble running around? That fucker's running up my leg. I swear to God. I ate a lot of things what? that night. What? Those are, those are plastic. Okay, go ahead. I guess they're not. I'm shocked to my core. Then I, I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. A barn swallow? I reached out for her. Oh. 
I gotta suddenly, jump to the tree. Oh! I was a cat. Hmm. So was that tuna laced? I'm a goddamn kitty. Where am I jumping? Can I jump? I can't jump. Oh! Back here, little bastard. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Fucking! I'll rip you apart! Oh shit! All right, we gotta pounce. We gotta do the pounce. You ready? Where am I going? There's the oh, you actually can! That's hilarious! How they wiggle- Wow. How the fuck do I guess that shit? Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Hey. Um. Put my paw in the window. I'd like some more LSD salmon. Oh, jeez, they're on it too. Look at- Oh, Jesus. How many cans did you guys have? Save some. Motherfucker. You're gonna get it. Even worse than I planned. Oh, look at this jump. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh, I'm getting pissed now. Little bastard. Where are you? Can't wait. Gotta sneak up. Don't wanna knock the lantern over. I can uh. tell she was getting really tired. Son of a Little piggies, and, uh... Oh, rockets being delivered. Standard practice. You're gonna get it. Now You're gonna I was get it. In a big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Well, did All your... I cared about was eating that mama bird. Oh. I don't know if your dad knows you're a cat, or... Honey, I shrunk the kids into a cat. I gobbled her up. Oh! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, what the all fuck? I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What the... What is happening? I don't even, like... Alright, we'll go with it. Teeth nibbling. Oh, you hear, you hear the nibbles? You little shit. Dive bomb, motherfucker. Oh, I got you. All right, now we're gonna go drop you off a cliff. Oh. Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine. Oh. Oh. You ate the whole thing. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. What the fuck? Swallow the thing fucking whole. Alright, what are we going after? A fucking bear? A mama rabbit. Oh. Kill its whole family, why don't you? Jesus. Alright, we're going to a cliff. She was almost too big to carry. Oh, but I started not... choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Ah. Uh... Oh, 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 yep, yeah. that'll do it. What, um, no comments. We're just gonna let this slide. No pun intended. I oh, I must hit a ocean. fucking car. Now, oh, cool. Than ever. Nice. Was that a sea tortoise? Oh, never mind, I don't have to do that. How are you, sir? Let me take your legs off. Oh, let me get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Ooh, is that right? There we go. Rip his legs off. 
Oh, really? Jesus! This game's like reading my mind. I gotcha. I gotcha. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, what the hell am I? Uh, what the fuck is that? What is that? I'm about to fucking barf. What is that? Seriously. Uh, that is fucking disgusting. Alrighty then. This game's not fucked up at all. Not to tell. Mm hmm. Not horrified. Not horrified at all. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. Yeah, and I'm sure the people can smell you. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Oh, that's fucking gross. Am I killing this guy? Is this Cthulhu? Oh my god! <sighs> oh, that's... I wanted to stop, but also, I did it. Haven't you had enough to eat? I had like seven courses. There should be feathers stuck in your mouth. Oh, this guy's wasted. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Imagine this, just slipping in the little crack. Oh God! And after the last passenger, I was still hungry. What? And across the water, I smelled something new, something I had to have. So uh -oh. I swam towards it. Am I still the gross thing that's gonna make me vomit? Yes, I am. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Uh, imagine what this thing's actually smelling. Oh, it goes up. It goes up. Oh, into the toilet. Jesus Murphy of flippin' flamingos. Oh, I'm glad no one's ass is there. Oh, that made me want to fucking barf right there. I got closer and closer. Here's Jenny. Where am I going? Am I eating my toys? My Crayolas? Oh! All my stomach started growling. Yeah, you must have like 80 of them, right? And suddenly, I was oh. me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, don't look under the bed. Oh, great. Delicious, the word of the day. Yeah. Not gonna ask what she was on, all right? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, so we gotta go through all of these? Hmm. Huh. All right, well, that was insanely fucked up, and I won't be sleeping tonight. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Oh, yeah. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Sure isn't obvious now, right? Well, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, it's a direct TV. 1937. 
1930 Sven. When Am I right? told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could oh. also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Yeah, I mean, why leave the mystery, right? May as well joke about your husband's death. Wow, no squatters, eh? Not huffing this? Jeez. Be the first thing gone. Her room was like a museum. Oh, these things are slick. This for Jurassic Park. For years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Oh. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. The curse. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family huh? and his house, <laughs> hoping to leave the curse behind. <laughs> well, see you guys later. We're out of here. <laughs> the whole fucking town's there. But 40-foot waves off the coast oh! of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. What? So they brought Odin's it. daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home. Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, yeah. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oh, so they built a new one, I see. But the fireplace can't forget. It's part of the OG. Yeah, Alright, okay, we got it. A little Finch family history. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Jebediah Finch. Oh no, it's Odin, sorry. That sounded a lot cooler. Oh, mysteries of death in there. You guys gotta stop, right? Where's the Guinness books? Oh, the shagging wagon. Hopefully the shining lady isn't in there. Okay, we're The good. only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Hey, who decorated it this? Prince? Or... There's a secret in here. Oh. Wait. Just barely got her. There's a secret in this bathroom. Got a pop-up? It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, what you look at that? Imagine all the kids, all the grandkids coming in here trying to rip that book out. What the f Grandma, get the fucking book out of here. Nobody found any of this sketch. I can only I'm not touching any of these walls. Imagine the black light in here. I'd be blinded. Oh, someone is raging. Look at this. Look at this. Milton getting wasted, drawing swings on the captain. Oh, wait. The whole two four to himself. Fort Calvin. No grills allowed. Look at that bed. Look at this. I didn't even notice that little thing. Look, you go up there. That is slick. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, I'm going up there. Fucking right. And that he never talked about hey, it. What does that say on there? 68. He's got another side to it. Look at this. Oh, it's Fort Sam. I see. Go in Fort Sam first. Oh, he's got no bridge. You fuck. And he's drinking. Jesus Christ. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Awesome. Man, I would be sleeping up here. Eleven years old. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. Oh, the thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh! 
Sam, you gonna give me a push? Like, my lag is really hurt. Okay, I'll do it myself. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he oh did. Oh my, they're eating mushrooms! What the fuck is At going on? Funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Hmm. Yeah, I don't try. Do you Hey, Mom! My mom's not Sam! Alright, check this out! We're jumping up! Going, going around was impossible. Nothing's impossible, Sam. Maybe if I hadn't said that. I'd still have my leg. Where's. Oh, maybe tell me one more time, because I'm going around this fucking tree! Then maybe he'd still be oh. here. But I doubt. We're going! I think he'd already made a oh. point. Jesus! This is gonna hurt. I'm gonna break That's my other leg. I wanna remember about my brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're going out. Oh! 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 Right to the garage roof. And we're going. We're wrapping this right around. Oh! And he did. What the fuck? Calvin Klein died in 1961. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Alright, so I guess we know the fate of Calvin Klein. I don't know how he, his After business funeral, kept going. But, uh... Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Oh my god, listen. Canterville. What the... Look at this. Want to cover that? What if I get itchy? God damn it. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. With wine still here. Melt. Prick. Oh my, do you see that? I hope it's just a standy. Up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Maybe it's because she was? I mean, she's right there in a movie thing. Are y'all right? Look at the fan mail. Oscars. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. What's she? Is that a pe- A- What? Is that a cake or a- Just a bunch- Or is that a cookie? That is just- Bizarre to look at. There she is. No one came for Barbara. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Ah, let's flip through a comic. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. Oh, no. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Jamie Lee Curtis? 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. 1960. It was just to boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Oh! Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Here, the let me punch you in the throat. And current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. 
It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to oh. rush to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. The You're annual right. purge has started. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll oh. be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. Oh no, we're going into the basement. She reached for the music box. Oh, am I playing this? Sweet. And That's cool. Found the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh, the music! What? Do? Oh, I'm fucking pumped. Does it go into it? Let it go into it. Let me see. Yes! I said Jamie Lee Curtis earlier, too. What the she fuck? Rick's crutch and imagine the worst. <gasps> Michael? It's Mrs. Loomis. You tricking down here? How did you get licensing fees for this? <gasps> Been trick or treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. Man killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, great. Great. Oh. Best part. This is fucking amazing. and grew still. Mmm. Is it the boogeyman? Oh dear. Oh, it's just an asshole in a mask. Let me just hit him with this. Oh, do it for me. Oh. Rick. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. That was awesome. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... Oh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? No. And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Is that the... Hour. Later. Only thing she has is a crush. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Uh oh. Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. If this is a trick, you're dead, you little shit. Hurt. Hold on, I'm turning on the Michael music. Better not be fucking around. I'm coming for it. Grab you by the little fuck. That's what I was saying. I'll grab you by the neck, hoist you up in a doorway, and fucking stab a knife in your abdomen. Oh, wrong door. Did you move all? You little bastard. Is that the wrong door? Oh, here we are. Perfect timing. Here we go. Wish I could go slower, but... Walter, oh. But his bedside radio 
was still on. Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows. And Michael's changed his MO. Activity. Oh, fuck. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Oh, oh, right in the dick. Okay. Wait. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be oh. another way out of here. Yeah, I'm sure there's like 11 million fuck. Oh, this place again. That night, she played her part beautifully. Thought he's gonna cut her foot or something. Stab him in the eye? But just couldn't do it. Maybe stab him in the eye with a starfish? The gerbil! There we go. Get him out. Oh no. Wait, what am I. What's going on? I'm trying to sneak past? Or knockout? Oh, oh, geez, that was worse than it had to be. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Oh, it's like when they shoot him at the end. Luma shoots him, he's gonna be gone when I go downstairs. Oh, fuck. You watch. Ten bucks. I better not slip on that skate. I fucking knew it. What's up with this egg chair floating? Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. <gasps> no, it's not floating. It's being hung. Dying to speak to young Barbara. Trick or treat, little bastard. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Surprise? <gasps> oh dear. Huh? Surprise! Oh! Did you hear that guy? He's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they yeah, were. Yeah, I was going to say. she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her. Here we go. Oh! I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared oh, yeah. the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. What? Her ear. Oh! Just crank it up to 11. I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> You're worse than Adam Sandler. Just st oh, there's the year. Great. What the fuck is going on? Am I on drugs? Is the whole family on he drugs? Told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, getting her ear ripped off and shoved into a fucking jewelry box, music box. 
Yeah. What a great ending, yeah. Alright, you got the key. You got a cranker. See, if this did the Michael music, that'd be great. Crank that bitch. Keep cranking it. There we go. That's a creepy song. Michael? Dr. Loomis? Uh, oh, we're in Sven's workshop. Oh, this is where he fucked up his hand. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Sven's hand is still down there. You don't want to go down there. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once. Carrying packages. Um, drug traffickers? I thought maybe she was hiding presents. In the fridge? You know, watch. Ten bucks, open it. It's going to lead to fucking Neverland Ranch or something. Here we go. Man, I need an orange crush. Oh. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Fucking bomb shelter. It's a can of something. Oh my god. It's worse than I thought. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Holy shit. Literally a fallout shelter down here. Pea soup. You better hope the bombs don't come or you're gonna be eating pea soup for the rest of your life. There's a pattern in all these stories. The size of that peanut butter. Holy fuck. Tons of Culligans. Right. Tasty beans. Sweet crisps. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. We're getting far today. We're finishing this motherfucker. After I take a shit. To wait, there's no toilet paper? What is that? Oh, it's a sh fucking... Well, I guess I could wash my ass out then. Oh, there he is. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. <laughs> Jesus! Can't believe you guys lost the key. On that first day, after the shaking started... Oh, the train! Oh! Oh! Hello! Let's open these bitches up! Cool. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. This is... Quite difficult, I don't know why. I couldn't tell you why this is difficult. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. That's what kept me sane. A little rest on the side there. Having a schedule. Living for today. Oh, those are pretty I big. I expected to be dead tomorrow. I just gulp that down, eh? But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Oh. Oh, it's like deja vu. Alright, well, let's get her going again. Even a monster on the other side of a door starts to feel normal. But what about Almost the... Almost friendly. You know, you got a big thing of peanut butter you can just scarf down. I mean, look at the size of those. Holy. And then one day, everything just... Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Oh, that's what the shaking was? Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Whoa, look at his hands. Look at his hands. Is he developing? Holy Christ, you're gonna make yourself sick. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Waiting? I have to leave. 
Well, I still can. Oh, shit. God, what is wrong with this family? More books. Jesus, you guys don't know when to stop reading. Oh, got two extra tomato paste. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever do you mean? Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Well, that was... You're like, come on. Barbara got her ear ripped off. Molly was... And Calvin. Inhaled by a snake. You, I don't know what the fuck you're on, but... Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Mm. Whatever's out there, I want you to know... I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Sick of those fucking peaches. I don't mind if I only have a year left. A year? Or a month. Or a single week. A new day. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Still failing to understand what the fuck he's Walter doing died that. when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. What? He's like made up characters? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. I mean, like, really, what is. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Oh, I see a pit. Why do I see a pit? What is in the pit? I don't want to see what's in the pit. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Wait. Who's I the other? It was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Scary stories to tell in the dark? Is this like... Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Huh. Oh. Um. Somehow got smoked. Oh, you see that out there? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Why is there chairs in the tree? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Oh my... What the fuck? Oh... But I thought you should know about your family. Huh? And the history you're a part of. You're gonna... Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Oh. Who would it be? Who would be I left? I think people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. And when you look at the house. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. What is happening I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it why is everybody dying what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house good point four years what the hell 
15. They like barely live. 10? Oh, it's a rabbit. That's why. No, wow. Oh, and that's a gold. Oh, okay. I'm a fucking idiot. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. The hell is that? Oh, the old house? Son of a bitch. I don't know how to zoom. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. What is going on? There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Well, uh, you got me. Everybody's dead. One guy by a train. One was... Was it a snake bite? Maybe? Snake bite? Maybe the one kid broke his neck on the swing? I have. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh. I see. Wait. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Hmm. Holy shit, look at the cameras and Medal of Honors. Oh, he was a sniper. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Hmm. Weirdo? Total weirdo? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are oh. gonna last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. oh. Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's ah. a hunting trip, Dawn. Oh, that was a shit photo. Strongly encouraged. There, that's Perfect. better. That's a little better, you know, the focus and uh, depth the of field. Weekend, isn't it? Oh, we're here. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. Check that out. Oh, look at my nails. Take some pictures, okay? Just Do I play careful. classical guitar? The camera's older than you are. Okay, what? Okay. Oh, here we go. Depth of field. Let's get her. Is that it? Probably not. He does play classical. Listen behind me. Does grow his hands. Or his fingernails, sorry. Definitely should not have dropped oh. all that coffee. Oh my jeez. There you go. <laughs> That's a keeper. Yeah, sick bastard. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff. If you want to survive, I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Gone. I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. 20 years. Oh. Get a good pick. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. That was a great trip. 
your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Oh, there we go. Dad. Basically eyes, doing a uh, Coleman... Coleman photography session here for the Coleman catalog. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. How sick that is. Oh, it didn't even count. Fuck. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Oh. The hell am I? Yeah, just go on the other side. Oh. I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Oh, shit. Oh! Let me get behind you. You're gonna fuck it up and shoot Marvin or something. Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Look at that. Look at that photo. That is pretty brutal. Oh! Great shot, Don! Yeah, it just falls off the cliff. Now we have to go get it. <laughs> Why is he taking a selfie of this? I'm proud of you, Don. Oh, shit. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Yeah, don't worry. It's gonna break just his neck. On the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. It. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, that All happened. Stories. That's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Hmm. It's a lot of deaths. Oh god. What's up with the ready to eat though? Like What? After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Heading into the nursery. Giant Pac-Mans everywhere, very nice. Oh shit. Divorce? Oh, was her mom? Oh shit. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh. Oh. The fuck? I think he saw what things the... the rest of us don't. Yep. I'm not sure what's happening. Did I throw this fuck? Ooh, I don't want to. Jeez. Oh, I didn't wind him up. Shit! Motherfucker! Oh! What the hell?! It's over, Gregory. It's time to... Hold on, sweetie. No, oh, no. She's gonna bring the phone in here? There's gonna be a toaster, or...? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. What are you guys talking about? It's not your divorce again, is it? Oh. What is Collecting stuff. Three more? Follow me, my jungle friends. Where are they going? Where are they going? Can I grab this? Reminded me so much of Calvin. Oh, nice! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Whatever it was, he saw. What? What? I got a sheriff and an astronaut. Oh, I'm getting that whale down. Sure that whale? Happen. Yep. Oh, shit. There you go, buddy. Alright, where are we going, fellas? Where to? Oh, free willy? Oh, nice! Nice! What am I playing? Oh, yeah! 
past those bubbles. Let's get him, boys. Gotta create a ruckus in here. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. What did he die in the bathtub? Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Oh. Jesus Christ. Damn it. Hold on, I Am I moving? Uh, ma'am, I'd like to get out now, please. If that's all right with you. Oh! oh. It's still, uh... Oh! I wish you could have told us. Oh! No. This is fucking horrible. Oh, God! Oh, frog! This game's fucking horrible. This is like a thrill. I don't want to say a thriller, but this is fucked up. This is fucked up. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Oh my god. That's fucked. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love these, Sam. like these indie games, do they have a checklist? Like first thing, hey, make it incredibly fucked. Here, have a giant scrotum testicle at the end of Inside. Yeah, go ahead. So let's see how Gus died in a irresponsible way due to his family. Oh, a kite accident. Great. A poem for Gus. Fucking kite accident. Was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that oh, that's he'd cool. be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. That is cool. Look at no one's watching him. No one's watching. Oh, right into the uh, rocks. Hmm. Some kite. Must be made of aluminium. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband. Oh, I see. His dad's getting married already after the divorce. Jesus, that was quick. Oh! When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. But Gus Fuck off, Dad. And as a sign held up his middle finger. I don't even like that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to say more? The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Hmm. Everybody's heading inside, eh? Okay, oh... See, I was gonna say lightning, but it wasn't raining at the time. Oh. This, whoa, that's cool. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Destroyed the tent? Oh, is it light on fire or something? The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Oh, great. Here, here's all your shit. You guys need some extra chairs? Whoa, what? I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Hmm? Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Oh, wait. Until we found you. What the hell? 
What? what? You get smothered? Or did it, like, take him out? She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Oh, great. That would have been nice. Well, I guess 2019 wouldn't really matter. Holy shit. Are you fucking... Engineers! My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Hmm, maybe I'm the kid. And Edith has already died? Hmm. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Sanjay. There's Melton. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Oh shit, I didn't even realize we're at the very top. I think. While, Let me back out here. Things were good. Oh no. Almost normal. Oh shit, we got like one more. Two more. Little Bristol board set up of his grandfather. The oh, shit. beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Oh, where's Milton then? There's going to be huge twists, isn't there? Also, did you guys contract Tim Burton to make this? I'm just wondering. What the fuck? How old is Milton? Wasn't I think he... Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Holy shit. How old is he? Like 10? And he's doing this shit. Milton Finch in... The magic paintbrush. Oh, cool. Okay. Holy fuck, is this as long as a Stephen King novel there, Milton? Oh, yeah. Wait, what did that I even was four when Milton disappeared. Oh, he's just gone. That's what they're trying to say. I see. Well, Milton, you gotta show up. Oh, he is gonna show up. He's gonna be up there, isn't he? Oh, fuck. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Yeah, it's a lot of cocking on there. Jesus. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, that explains the millions of cans. Everyone Not really. Everyone was hoping to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Oh, because... Oh... Uh, he got tons of Cheech and Chong posters. <laughs> Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Smell like a skunk? Perhaps some coffee grounds? Okay, I guess I'm leaving again. How's this? Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, 
shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, Newly Jesus. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Whoa. Oh! Oh! Alright, that happens at the end. At the oh, you fucked up. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Jeez, I'm already going nuts from doing this. What? what the hell's that? Wonder. Oh! What did... Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, here, let me get this while I'm on drugs. I Hold asked on. him to describe it. I'm gonna cut off my fucking hand. Oh, shit, you want that fish, don't you? He huh. said he started small. Alright. Started out with the gateway. He'd feel his way about. Fucking thing in here. What a job, eh? No wonder he went fucking moved. nuts. Bats. Bats. Oh my god, it's and bats. Toads. Are there bats and toads? Oh, the dragon. And things oh. that have no oh. names. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking it up. I'm fucking it right up. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, fish! Fucking thing out of my way. Oh, that's weird. Took it very seriously. Oh. I had Get, hoped to staring at the goddamn thing. Oh, now I can't see. Alright, we done with the fish. Gus. Oh, wait, that's my brother. Uh, Charles, we done with the fish? But he found something more. The great pipe. The great bong of justice. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss, but he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. I wonder why. He's on the juice. Like a whole new Lewis. Lewis? Okay, can I pick the fish up? They're great. Oh no, he doesn't get his fucking hand or head cut off, does he? I even encouraged him. Get the fish. Get! Jesus Christ. It seemed very promising at first. Nope. He told me he'd made a new friend. Oh, hey! Oh, probably one of the dogs that are dead now, unfortunately. Wait, where On am I the going? edge of a city he named Lewis Hope. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Jeez, what was he on? Look at the shit he's coming up with. Then he made musicians. Hello. Anybody like a fish? Perhaps the ass the of a fish? For them to play. Talked about starting a band. Oh. Everybody follow me. I got lots of hair one. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Can I go by? Thanks. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. Uh oh, uh oh. At oh. all the cheering crowds. Oh. Even the stones under his feet. 
were all in his imagination. Uh... So he could do whatever he wished. That includes jamming a needle up your wee wee. And he won. Yeah. Oh, nice. He begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It Sorry, guys. Gotta go jam some shit. Oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. What is? Oh. Oh, I'm actually controlling this boat. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Whoa. Louisville, Minneapolis, until <laughs> one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Um, I'm on shit. Get away from me. Okay, she's gone. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Here we go. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, Jesus. Still going. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh, great, great. Sorry, ma'am, I just gotta get this fucking trout out of here. Oh, alright. He was so proud of having created it. That right. In his own eyes, he'd become something oh greater than a king. Oh my god. Fellas? How are you? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Huh. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Let's go in this little door. Thanks for putting this little door here, guys. Oh. Where's my needles? Need my needles. Oh, wonder where they are. Of course, he's got that only place that'll deliver. He began to forget the world we know. Look at it. Whoa. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He's not even... He's out of it. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. <laughs> what? What is going on? Imagine the guy yelling this in a fish factory. The palace would be packed with his companions. Hey! It's you and you. Why do they have no faces? Uh, thank Including you. Including wise calico who insisted on advising him. Thank you, thank you. His queen waited, holding his crown. Hey, 
Alright, so are we doing TGI Fridays after this? Or? There's only one thing left to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bend down his head. Oh my... What was that saying? What was that saying? How did he... Oh, this game is wickedly weird. Thank you. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Imagine that phone call. Jesus, what a... what? Who's running this family? Oh, I didn't even see... look at the pills and... Well... Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Uh, knock on wood. Or did you? And that's why he died. Oh, you son of a bitch. Edith. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Oh. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Just the last one? The feather. Mm. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Grandma. Why don't you go open it? The grown I know have it. to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not... I here. know it! Edith, you're excused. Oh, never mind. I thought it was Edith talking, and I was gonna be like, oh my god. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. I was just abandon her? Wasn't that nice? Well, everyone's dead. I guess we should get the fuck out of here, right, Edith? Leave your grandmother here? The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. Oh, um, fuck. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Mmm, shit. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. Oh, that night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. Am I going out there? There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Oh my god, I'm going. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I 
lost my way. Um, don't worry, if I go straight. I got turned around. Oh, shit. I started seeing things. The hell did it jump over? Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Where the fuck? Oh. A bed? But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. The old house. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? Uh oh. It's um, mine. Edith. It's porno. Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! Hey! Come on! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. So we're going to Disneyland, right? Mom? I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. What a curse! We both tried to make the best of it. Oh, I flattered my own. Oh, nice. A few years went by. Oh, what? Oh, cool. Oh. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Huh. The last finch left alive. Wait. Until I found out about you. Oh. Wait. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Who the hell am I? If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is... I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. What? And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. Oh, you I'm the little baby. Yourself. I guess if you're reading this now. I'm little Edith! Things didn't work out that way. Oh. Wait, so she got... This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. I knew it! But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. I fucking knew it. Well, kinda. Talk about tragic.
Well, that was something else. Well, that was pretty good. Don't understand the luck. Like, literally everyone just dies. I think I have that headset. That headset. Yeah, that was pretty good. I liked it. Music is good. Graphics are good. Yeah, I think this might be the first walking sim I've played. Oh, there's the frog. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a really big twist. Like maybe it was Milton. And he found the book. And no, it's literally right straight up. Everyone dies. And Edith Child's the only one left. I hear the playtesters, they don't deserve their own pictures. And here's the special thanks, guys. Uh, you guys get your old shitty VHSs that we taped over. Nice. Clever girl. The replay store. Oh, very nice. Well, that was Edith Finch. Once again, it's an indie title. It's got to have a tragic ending. But it was good. It was damn good. Yeah, the Michael Myers part was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's a very short game. It was only about uh, two hours, 30 minutes, going on three hours. That was because I was checking around mostly everywhere, but... This has been what remains of Edith Finch. Take care now. Bye-bye, then.